using Excel for production and planning. Okay, so we understand the importance of being efficient and getting everything as fast as possible. The thing is, what we will accomplish is going to be something that looks as if it took one or two months, but in reality, at least for the cinematography course, after Janet had all the course written, we spent one day recording all the tracks, then two days doing all the planning, then I spent two days making all the drawings, and then seven days animating in After Effects, for a total of 12 days. Yep, the cinematography course took 12 days of production, so this is something I really recommend doing. But the key of everything was spending two days in the planning. Without the planning, I could have taken the whole month correcting things and changing my mind and whatnot, right? But thanks to the planning, I was able to do things quickly, so we need planning. The way to do it is to have a transcript of the audio for your lessons or the narration of your YouTube video. Once you have that, you do a breakdown, which I will teach you how to do in a later lesson. And then, after we have the breakdown, we will insert all the data into a spreadsheet. What we will be aiming for is this, a big and fat list of all the texts, images, illustrations that appear in the video. This gives us a chance to work faster. I can use a filter to show all the images I need to get from the internet. In, in the case of the body language course I'm currently working on, a course by Sydney, I need 182 images. And I already have the links to download them once I pay for a subscription in Shutterstock. See? Of course, you can get free images, which I will also show you how to get. But I just prefer to pay because I save a lot of time. Because pay sites uh, usually give better and faster results on your searches. So you see, having a spreadsheet, which we will learn how to do, can help your production or assembly line or course creation be more efficient and fast. So. Let's see what we will accomplish after we take care of all the planning and production. At the end of this course, we will be able to do the type of animation that will be shown in the next lesson. So, see you there!